and you focus on the breath, the mind's got to change its habits. It's used to traveling around the world outside. So it knows the world pretty well, knows how to negotiate the world. But often when you come inside, if it's new territory, you're not familiar with what's going on inside, even though it's inside you, but you haven't been paying much attention. So try to be quiet for a second and notice where you, you feel the breath when you breathe in, breathe out. Then allow your attention to settle there. It'll stay there for a bit, and then you'll notice that it wanders off. We'll bring it right back. Make up your mind. This is where you want to stay. We're creating a home for the mind in here. Or it's better to say we're cleaning out the home. This is the house that you use as your crash pad. And then you go running out and spending most of your time outside. We'll come back inside and straight things out in here. First thing you want to straighten out is the breath, because the breath is what straightens out everything else. So breathe in deep for a while, and then if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You can make it shorter, shallower, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to get a sense of what kind of breath will feel comfortable right now. It's like decorating your home with comfortable furniture. And as the breath gets comfortable, then you try to spread that breath energy around the body in any places where there's tension. Think of it relaxing, relaxing, tension in the arms and the legs and the feet and the hands, tension around the face. This is like cleaning up your house. So no matter where you go in the house, everything is nice and clean. There are no dark corners that you're afraid of, no dark corners where you're going to get hurt if you go inside. Chase out all the spiders and animals all the cobwebs. In other words, you want to make the body a good place to be. Because when you're here, then you have a good perspective on what's going on in the mind. Otherwise, the mind, when it's looking outside, mainly what it sees is its reflections of outside. But it doesn't see what it's adding to the reflections. If you want to see what the mind is doing, you've got to settle down inside here. Watch right here. So try to settle down here so it feels comfortable being here. Otherwise, it's all too easy to go slipping off when the mind wants to go out and travel outside. Come back in and watch the mind carefully. And you're sitting on your comfortable chair as the house is clean, so it's a good place to be. And then as the mind does anything unusual, then you'll notice. Unusual here means out of normalcy. Now, normalcy here for many, us, many of us is just basically what our habits happen to be. But the Buddha says the state of normalcy for the mind is a state of quietude, a state of being solid and equanimous here in the present moment. So anything that deviates from that, you've got to watch it to see where is it going, what's it doing, why is it doing it. Because some of the mind's activities are useful, but a lot of them are not. And you've got to be in a position where you can sort out which is which, instead of just running with whatever goes, wants to go running out the door. So try to clean up the place inside here. This is where you're going to have to stay. And you find as life goes on, as aging comes, illness comes, as death comes, you're going to be forced back into the spot before you leave. And so you want to make sure that you know this spot well, you know the mind well. So that as you stay, you've got a good place to stay. When you leave, you leave well. So take care to clean up the house inside rather than just traveling around outside, because it's inside where everything important is happening. <laughs>